Yo, this is Itano Plays Pokemon X. So we are now in Anistar City again because apparently Professor Sycamore has found out the mysteries of the Mega Evolution, Mega Stones, and so on. And that means we're gonna go find them out. He'll be at the Sundial, which is of course right in the northern part of town. Let's go and meet him there right away. There's the sundial. Why, hello, Zitano. Running around all that colors is actually rather tiring, is it not? Oh, yeah, I'm the one making you do that, aren't I? Terribly sorry about that. Well, Serena may have already told you, but I found a way to power up the Mega Ring. Before we get to that, however, let's talk about Mega Stones briefly. My theory is that their special stones irritated by the light, the energy of the legendary Pokemon Xerneas, or of course, why at all if you play Pokemon Y, fired from the ultimate weapon 3000 years ago. And that that's what I think they are. It's even possible that stones like fire stones were what turned into these mega stones. So that's what the mega ring you are holding. That mysterious stone transforms feelings felt towards Pokemon into some kind of wavelength. The Mega Ring works in a similar way to how this object over here works. It's an object that changes sunlight into mysterious light. For one hour, starting at 8 p.m., this sundial starts emitting light. This mysterious object has towered over the city here for over 3,000 years. Its relationship to the Mega Ring isn't understood at all yet. Now let's get down to the heart of the matter. Zitana, try touching the sundial. Okay, let's do that, we're touching it. And things just glitter a lot. You've exposed to the legendary Pokémon's energy in Team Flare's secret HQ. And the Mega Ring has absorbed the power of the sundial. These two powers have combined to upgrade your Mega Ring. Now it will react to underground Mega Stones, but only when the sundial is emitting light. I'm sure these stones hide in every corner of Kalos. Use this power to find them. Ah, we will do that for sure. Now, we did say though that the Mega Stones will only be available to be found in certain locations at 8 pm and only for one hour. So, between 8 pm and 9 pm every day, you can find special Mega Stones. Let me tell you where to find them. So, they are a total of seven, no, 14 Mega Stones located around the Kalos region. However, three of them are only available in Pokemon X, and three of them are only available in Pokemon Y, meaning that there are a total of um, eight, yeah, a total of eight Mega Stones available to both games, and then three in Pokemon X and three in Pokemon Y. Let me tell you where they are. First thing, you have the Alakazite, which you can find in the Reflection Cave, which, if I remember correctly, it was uh, here. In the second bottom floor, you'll find the Alakazite. Next up, we have the Banatite. Remember, Alakazite is for Alakazam. Banatite for Banat in the Chamber of Emptiness, which is located here. Route 22, which we barely did move on to. We're just east of the Victory Road, or west even. Here we have the Banatite. Next up we have the Godchompite for Godchomp, which is located here in the Victory Road, in the second grove. Next up is the Gyarodosite at Coryway Town, which is of course located here. Next up we have the Kangaskhanite for Kangaskhan, located in the Glittering Cave. Next up we have Mobilite for Mobile, located in the Shabno Castle. Shabno Castle is located of course here. Campfire Town. Then we have the Medichamite for Medicham, located in Laver City, which is up here. And finally, we have Caesarite in the Frost Cavern, which is of course located here. Now, these are Mega Stones that are available to both versions. Now, let me talk to you about the three Mega Stones available in Pokemon X only. The first one is Manectite for Manectric, Mega Evolve can be done here at Route 16. Next up we have the Pinzerite for Pinzer, 
can be located here in the Santaloon Forest. And the last Pokemon X exclusive Megastone is the Tyranitarite, available in the Silage City Gym. So these are the three from Pokemon X. Next up we have the three Megastones in Pokemon Y. The first one is Agronite for um, Agron. This is also located here in the Silage City Gym, which is basically here. Next up we have the Heracronite for Heracross. Also located in the Santa Forest, similar to the Pinzerite. And finally, we have Hound Doominite for Hound Doom, located here at Route 16. Remember, Agronite, Heracronite, and Hound Doominite is only for Pokemon Y, while Manectrite, the Pinzerite, and the Tyranitarite is only in Pokemon X. The other po Megatons I talked about just now are available in both versions. And that basically concludes the main storyline in Pokemon X. But we're not done yet. There is one rather big side quest we're gonna do right now. Or start with at least right now. Because you maybe heard about him in other games. He's in this game too. It's Looker the Detective. To get his side quest started, you simply have to go to Luminous City. So just fly to whatever place you wanna go. Might be just going to Luminous City will be enough. In order to get this side quest started, you must have uh, become Pokemon Champion, you must have defeated Serena Kalem in Killer City, and you must have gone to Anasar City to upgrade your Mega Ring. That will trigger the next part of the quest. Incoming message on our Holocaster. Here we go. <coughs> Sitano, please excuse me. Only in a moment, or perhaps three, there is something I really need to talk to about with you. Please come to the Looker Bureau. The building is close to Rouge Plaza. I can't say any more right now. I'll be expecting to see you soon. Okay. So let's go to the Looker Bureau near the Rouge Plaza. Chapter 1. That man's a real looker. Uh-huh. Yeah, something about that. Now, of course, I'm not really that good in this town, so I need to find out where is Rouge Plaza. I have even no idea where it is. I guess we have to go some uh, soul searching. Maybe we can do a little trick, let's see. Look at Burrow. Right, Rouge Plaza, of course, in the middle, that's of course, I forgot about that one. Let's go in the middle then. So apparently it's in a narrow street between North Boulevard and the Rouge Plaza. Here's the Blue Plaza. So the plazas are the little things in the middle. We have the Centrico Plaza. So I don't know where we are to go. I see um, maybe this one over here. the Rouge Plaza, I think. Yeah, this is the Rouge Plaza. So Looker's Bureau should be close by here. Now, where can it be, though? Maybe try here. Ah, I think I found it. Is this on the right here, maybe? No, that was not. That was the restaurant where you can get some cool fighting. This one then. Here we go, look at Burrow. We found it, let's go inside. It was good of you to come. Yes, I need 30 seconds of your time. Or 3 minutes only. 30 minutes, maybe. First, you must know that I have taken the liberty of investigating you, Sitano. For example, I can say that you were the newest champion of the Kalos region. Also, I can say that you were the one to save our world from the group known as Team Flare. Good. Very good. I have delayed in giving my introductions. My code name is... No. Ha! I mean to say, my name is Looker. I am 
no more than a grim middle-aged man who works in this town as a detective. And now, let us approach a real subject. Sitana, my friend. I investigated you, yes. I called you here today, yes. The reason for his actions? Listen well. Luminous City. It is a tourist destination whose name is known all over the world. Many kinds of people live here, and even more come to visit and enjoy the atmosphere. The fact is, wherever there are so many people in one place, trouble is never far behind. Trouble beckons me, yes. Trouble troubles me. And so I arrive, and so I open this agency. Being a detective and doing such work requires a person with hard-boiled heart. But even a heart that embraces the loneliness can sometimes stumble, falter, doubt. And that's where you come in, kid. I want you to be my assistant. No, no more than that. I want you to be my partner. If a champion like you and an iron jaw detective like me join forces, I promise we can bring peace to Luminous City. What does your heart say, Sitano? Will you partner with me and fight crime? Sure. For your brave answer, I thank you. Luminous City will regain its tranquility. Well, I wish it could be that easy. Because even though you are a champion, you're still a rookie when it comes to detective work. And that's why I must ask you to enroll in my class in detective and espionage skills. The Looker Method. Yes, even you can become a detective in five easy steps. When you're ready to learn the meaning of hard-boiled, just come and talk to me again. Um... Okay. Oh, you're ready for an adventure now? Allow me to explain what you will be doing. You'll need to find five looker tickets that have been sprinkled around Luminous City. And then bring them back to me. There's nothing more to it. Simple as can be. Looker tickets will be sure to catch your eye with their glitter and sparkles. I want you to succeed, so I left some hints in my notebook about where to find the tickets. Aha, so then. It is time. Away with you to begin your training. I trust you'll live up to my hopes. Let's go to the notebook and see where it is though. Number 1. In the Pokemon Centenaire to Magenta Plaza. Number 2. Centrico Plaza in the tower illuminating the city. Number three, on a Vernal Avenue at the shop selling mes mes uh, medicines. Number four, on North Boulevard first floor in a place where people rest. Number five, North Boulevard first floor in a place filled with art. Okay, that sounds good to me. So we know where exactly where they are. Let's go and find them. The first one is in a Pokemon Center near. Magenta Plaza. But before we get to do that, we have another holocaust. So now that you're heading off into the city, Sitano, I just thought I would go over the locations of the hidden tickets. So once again. 1. In the Pokemon Center next to Magenta Plaza. 2. In Centrico Plaza in the tower eliminating the city. 3. On Vernal Avenue at the Sop Shelling Medicines. 4. North Boulevard first floor in a place where people rest. 5. On North Boulevard first floor in a place filled with art. That's it. If you're having trouble, return to the Looker Burrow or read this message again. I wish you luck. Okay. Didn't sound too hard for me. Okay, so the first one was located at a Pokemon Center near the... Magenta Plaza. Where the Magenta Plaza is, I have no idea. We can try and check it out though. Maybe Autumn Avenue. Pretty sure that's not the place to go. We can try this one though. Here we have the Magenta Plaza. The center should be nearby. And here it is. Let's go into the Pokemon Center. I see something sparkling here. We found a looker ticket. That's the first one. We have four remaining. There's something written on the reverse side of the tickets. Congratulations, you found the tickets. The brilliant deduction has brought you on one step closer to becoming a detective. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, now we're gonna go to the Centrico Plaza in the tower eliminating the city. This one is, of course, very straightforward. This one basically is in the prison tower, where we fought against... 
our great gym leader, Clemo. So we see always see it here. Just go in here and grab the second ticket. Congratulations, you found the ticket. Just as I would expect my colleague to be. Zitano, march on, march on. Dive deep into Luminous City. Dive deep, dive deep, indeed. Okay, now we have to go to the Vernal Avenue, the shop selling medicines. Let's go back here again. Vernal Avenue. Maybe we're here already. Let's see, I think it's down here. Ultimal Avenue, okay, that was not it. Let's try to go across this one to Rouge Plaza. Hibernal Avenue, no, it's not this one, we need to go to the Vernal Avenue. Yeah, the Jean Plaza. Nothing in here. The Vert Plaza. Vernal Avenue, okay, here we are. There should be a on the Vernal Avenue at the shop selling medicines. Now, where could that be? Maybe here. Nope, Stone Emporium, not this one. I think I went too far. Yeah, let me go back again. Cafe class? Nope. Petite couture? Nope. Not this one. I oh, here it is. Go inside here and we find ticket number three. Congratulations, you found the ticket. Your training is coming along smoothly. If my deductions are correct, I will say that this is the third ticket you tracked down. Which will mean you're now more than halfway through your training. Luminous is an imposing city, but do your best. Well, for sure. Alright, so that was the ticket number three. The little two tickets remaining are both in the um, Northern Boulevard. So let's just go and skate. Get there faster. Let's go to the other side of the... Uh, in the city. Let's go down here. And we have quite a rouge plaza on the north. Across from here we have Lucas Bureau on our left. Just gonna keep running past it and run into the northern boulevard. Okay, so North Boulevard first floor in the place where people rest. Well do people rest? Well they rest in a hotel. I just need to find out where that hotel is, though. Over here. I mean, there's not a look at hotel to me. Okay, let's try another new place. This place maybe? Maybe it looks like a station. This looks like a hotel to me. Or maybe not. Where's this place? Ah, they don't even know what this building is for even themselves. Who are in this who will even work here? That's uh, very uh, nice to know. There's the route 14 gate. There's a sign list. Luminous Museum? Nope. Yes, the hotel must be one of those two buildings here. Maybe this one? Yeah, this is the hotel. Let's go inside this one. There should be a ticket here nearby. Let's see if we can find it. It's on the first floor, so it should be around here somewhere. I hear this. We got a looker ticket. The fourth one, we have one more ticket to find. Congratulations, you found a ticket. 
Shall I share my diagnostics with you again? This tuck must be your fourth ticket. Correct, yes. I imagine you are consumed with curiosity. How could I possibly know this? The answer to that is simply, I'm a hardball detective after all. Um, okay, I guess you are. Okay, so the last one, on North Boulevard, first floor in a place filled with art. And where do you have art? In the museum, of course. Let's go inside the museum and see if we can find the fifth and final ticket. Oh, we had to enter the reception. Okay. Let's enter them. Now we don't need to have any audio guides for us. Now where is that ticket? Ah, there it is, right next to this woman. And we found the fifth and final ticket. That's great. Congratulations, you found the ticket. If you get it all five tickets, make your way straight to the Lookers Bureau. Your training continues until we meet again. Remember that, brave Sitano. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's just exit. Maybe not over time, but that's fine though. Actually, uh, this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. We found the five tickets. Now let's return back to um, Looker and see what he has in store for us in our next task here in the Looker's Bureau. So like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. That's good for now. See you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon X continues.